It feels like recently, every time we get a new game or game announcement or even game release at this point, it seems like we are constantly being fucking let down. Whether it's game devs being money hungry sons of bitches or fucking game devs just not wanting to put in the work to make the game actually playable. Regardless, we as a community are just fucking unhappy constantly and we just can't catch a break. We're in like that abusive relationship where you're too afraid to get out because you've been so so connected to video games and just gaming as a whole that you don't want to let go but you're just constantly getting punched in the face every time you fucking breathe by game devs okay it's it's honestly fucking sad how we are being constantly let down by literally every single video game at this point we have fucking I'm, I'm, I'm gonna list off a few examples. Recently, Overwatch, okay, I think everybody in their fucking mother knows about this situation. Overwatch promised PvE and a fuck ton more content coming to Overwatch 2, which is why they justified making an entire new game. And then they completely scrapped everything and uh, gave us graphics and some, some new heroes and the number two at the end of the title. Another example um, is Diablo 4, um, completely ruining their own setup of how the game should run, um, being a very PvE based game, and then introducing a way to get around it. So you, so you progress way quicker than you should. And the next example, which is the most recent, AKA I think, when did this game release? Yesterday, whatever. I don't even fucking care at this point. 2K22, or, oh, wow. Okay, 2K24. See, I'm already, I'm already listing off games that suck. If you guys haven't heard, uh, 2K24 has a really horrible progression system. Um, I want to take this clip from Aiden Ross where he literally found out that you could progress basically the entire game for, fuck, like a hundred bucks and have nothing to do. There's no rap, guys. There's no rap. And Are you fucking this is fucking serious, a bro? A brand new Four game. Four years in a row, it's been the same stage. Guys. You could upgrade straight. Look, you could buy level skips. You could get mascots for the me off. Eight, four years in a row, same stage. Where the mascots at? What the fuck is 2K doing? Because look, I could buy level skips, Cheezer. Look. Bro, this is the worst shit. So, Cheezer, check. I could buy. I could. I can literally. Oh, they're actually so much. So Cheezer, I could buy it at level 40 right You're now. You're literally gonna buy your level. No, this is bad. And it costs 100 bucks. 73 $73 to get mascots, no, by that, the way. That's for money, okay? $73 to get mascots first day. They literally made the entire game based around, you know, VC. Okay, that's a great way to run a game. You know, you earn coins and you level up your dude. I think a lot of games take after this fucking concept. But then they made it so that you could buy so much VC that you could max out your entire character and that doesn't even apply to just the character build anymore it applies to the fucking battle pass you remember when you used to have to grind to get the mascot uh to you know get the legend rank and everything um fuck that i guess because you could just buy the mascot now this has to be one of the most disgraceful blatant examples of a company just being so fucking money hungry that they actually just don't care about their player base anymore the entire point of the game is to get a mascot and you know get a fuck ton of wins get a 99 overall player that you can play in the park with and reach legend rank get the mascot whatever and instead of keeping the normal progression that drives your player base to actively play your game. You can just buy everything day one for $73, skip everything, you don't even have to play a game, and you could have the mascot. What the fuck is that, dude? That's like Call of Duty making it so that you can buy the final camo, whether it be Dark Matter, Damascus, or fucking Obsidian, for a good old price of $20. That's like a video game asking you in the tutorial fucking mission if you want to just buy the ending cutscene. You don't you don't have to play the game, you just have to watch the final cutscene for the good old price of $50. Wow, how about that? That's like when you're a fucking newborn baby and the doctor just asks you up front, do you want $50 to just skip your entire life and reach the end and fucking die? Ooh, this got gruesome real quick. Where did that come from? I've always understood the argument of some people want to just come home from work, people that work nine to fives or just really busy jobs and they have to be up early in the morning and they just want to sit down, relax and play a casual game. But this is exceeding even that point. This is beyond casual gaming. This is like just fucking turn off your brain hold the A button or X button and fucking dump your wallet into the video game. You don't even have to play or touch the game anymore. The game will link your debit card straight into the game. And every time you think about even buying something, it'll just automatically purchase it. And if you ever want a refund, well, 
You're shit out of luck. Get fucked, nerd. Okay, all jokes aside, I really wanted to shine some light on this absolutely shitty franchise that has been doing this for years, and I feel like is always excluded from this conversation. We always talk about GTA being money hungry, or other video games being really transaction heavy, such as FIFA, but God forbid anyone ever talks about 2K, and how fucking money hungry this company is. You know, if you haven't really been following, you know, the NBA franchise games in a while, we had NBA Live at one point, and honestly, I think we should fucking bring back NBA Live. I think they could actually do a very good job of reviving the fucking NBA series games. Um, because at this point, it's just gonna turn into, oh, you want to uh, buy the game? Okay, it's $70. Oh, you want to build a character? Here's $70. Oh, you wanna, you wanna buy shorts in the game? Oh hundred bucks oh you want to fucking dribble the ball well every time you dribble it costs five dollars i feel like every year a bunch of people always say we should boycott this game we should boycott that game um mainly call of duty uh that's always the talking point for that topic and every year it always falls flat and no one ever gives a fuck um they always fall into the trap of oh and it'll be different this year oh it'll be different this year uh, maybe next time so i, I don't even want to say well, let's just boycott the game because that's not going to go anywhere I think we should instead bring back NBA Live. Is that a tough take? Probably. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little small talk about how companies are shitty. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, maybe subscribe to me. Um, if not, that's, that's cool too.